Not on camera, anyway. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Useless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. The neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be picked on or pushed around again. Things like look bigger in the flashback than they do in so he's present day. City, huh? Yeah. I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. I love these stylized uh, title cards. It's like a cartoon episode or something. <laughs> Right, that's awesome. What? What'd you say? When I showed Mugshot, he still had like a double bunk bed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Just top bunk for his guns. Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive Landless. points, leapeth lively and presses oh the God. triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright. Oh, by the way, um, next game was number no one, no one is the, um, no, was it open and empty? I did not hear a word of that. Was it L2 and R2 for your power-ups? Oh, um, yeah. Okay, cause you, yeah, cause we can see, cause if we get, let's see if we can land on this guy. Oh. Yep. Nice. I gotta remember that, that this, this game doesn't, like, focus so much on stealth as the other games do. No. <laughs> yeah, now we're in the USA. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to see how this goes. Yeah, uh, yeah, again, I... I haven't really seen any... I, I know I know about the issues with the rhythm boss, but like... Yeah. Other than that, nope. So we have anthropomorphic dogs and then just regular dogs on like chains. How does that work? I don't know. Um, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Do I want to go this way or this way first? This way, I guess. Yeah. The. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason I don't usually do blind LPs, because I don't really know what to say about games I haven't played before, but, um, you know. Just, just do this I looked afraid to die. <laughs> yeah, we died. <laughs> what killed you? I fell Water. into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm... And of course, and of course, mascot characters can't swim. <laughs> yeah. Neither can Spider-Man, oh. apparently. Swimming at page seventy-four of the previous record. Oh no! <laughs> he takes a bow. Yeah, Sp Spidey too. Like you just can't swim, swim at all. 
Yeah, I used to do blind LPs like uh, like all the time, but like I don't know. There's a, I'm not like completely against doing them because I'm doing this, but like it's a yeah. Not exactly something I want to do often nowadays because it's just it's kind of hard to uh, find things to talk about with uh, games you're unfamiliar with. Mm. So hopefully you two can kind of pick up the slack a bit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, just something. <laughs> I'm, I'm just interested in hearing how you're good reacting all this stuff. Oh, you may also notice that our clue count is getting a lot higher. Uh, yeah, wasn't it like 20 before? 20 to 30. Yeah. Now, yeah, but now they're going to shuffle around to 40 or so. Okay, so that just loops back. Alright. Yeah, I'm very, do. very interested to just see how this game progresses. Hmm. It's been a while since I've seen this game, besides, besides beyond our first session, so. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know, I might rewatch the SGB run, like, sometime just to get some more refreshers. I, yeah, I... What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a goner. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. I see. All right. That was simple, like... 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 So I need to... Oh, okay, so, so like that. I think. I think I did that correctly. Oh! Oh my god! That's so funny. I'm just gonna get launched back up. Oh god. Okay. That's unique. Make sure I don't miss anything. I like these enemy types so far. They're very creative. Oh! Knock back all the fighting had in this game. Yeah. Maybe the throw would be good here. <laughs> I didn't think what? I was in range. What, what? What hit you? The crusher. <laughs> Alright, let me let me let me refill all these. Like, what? What hit? What it hit? <laughs> My pinky finger? I don't know. I thought it like hit your cane or something. Yeah. And graze the tip of his nose. <laughs> God. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully with less death. We'll see. Apparently these uh, hitboxes are like massive. The set the center is safe. Alright. Yeah. I wonder if that thing would actually fall easy. Oh there's a wait, there's a oh that's a safe. Wait, what? Oh Go back up. Oh, I see. There's something else. Yeah, there's something else to reach up here. Oh. 
I actually know what the power is. I bet you can. Is it not? I guess we'll see. Go ahead, close. Now, how do we get to that? Okay, you can slip in here. Just jump. Yolo. Oh wait, wait, wait. You almost didn't see Let's that. Turn back. What? You what is there another one? Wait, is there another one? I thought it was, never mind. Oh, okay. And I know in the later fly games they had the enemies that can hear you breaking open bottles. Oh, so it's like <laughs> It's uh, actually sound sensitive. Yeah. That's cool. I, I feel like I'm gonna. Oh, I, okay. I straight up just didn't see those hooks, I'll be honest. <laughs> Damn it. Cool, that's fine. It's gonna end the level, isn't it? Hold on. I... Wait, am I missing one? Two. two. Yeah, like. They may, it may have been earlier in the level. Jeez. Oh, well, don't worry, this one in the level because like, you saw that over the video. Yeah! Face. Are oh, you just gonna come back in? And just yeah, start I might as game? well. I think you had to teleport in from the map screen. Oh, wait. yeah. How does this work? It just. Yeah, where's it gonna? How's it gonna do this? Oh, it just has to be here. Um. I guess... Um, I have an idea. Um, pause. Exit level. <laughs> Here, try that. Is it just... What's it gonna do? Yeah, it's just gonna send me here. Okay, what did you do from the map screen? Oh, no, what do you exit the hideout? Oh, yeah, then it's gonna, like, go back to the start, and then... Should be able to just send me back to... Uh, oh. Yeah, just, no, go to the, yeah, no, go to the entrance. Down. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, let's see if that worked. Okay. So I'm not really sure why I missed, so... Well, we missed two bottles, so everybody just gotta keep, we just gotta keep our eyes open. Better not be like... There's nothing by the start, at the very least. It's gonna be like in... near a pit somewhere. Nothing down there. Yeah, and the draw distance actually seems to be pretty good, so... Yeah... I, I, until we see that just now. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, good enough, then. <laughs> yeah... Usually wait. there's gonna be s Wait, what? I thought I was gonna keep going. Yeah, usually there's gonna, there's gonna be some... kind of pop in. Especially for the, like, this, like, era. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that's most important is that you make sure that you, the collectibles or things that are, like, of major interest are still viewable in some degree. Uh, by to some degree. Because, um, like, the... Like the gems in the original Spyro trilogy, for example, like you could still you can still see the their sparkles really far away, which is nice. Nah. It's an nah. it's, stuff like that is a nice workaround with a well, it's a nice workaround uh, with a, like draw distance that's um, can't exactly go that far normally. 
And then you have stuff like Mario 64. <laughs> Damn it. This is gonna be good. <laughs> What? I don't know. You sound like you were like 10 miles away. Do you hear me now? Ish. Now? Yes. We just went over there, so there's something over here. Oh! Damn it. Just keep going, keep going forward. Uh. Nothing down there. Eat the dog. Okay. Nothing there. I just guy's gonna burp it. I have this what? feeling it's gonna like gonna be like on the edge of a cliff somewhere. Maybe. Oh, I also keep thinking I need the money for upgrades. Well, I mean, getting an extra getting an extra hit point is pretty good at this point. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see one. Okay. Wait, where is it? Uh. Oh! So is it right? Are they both over there or just that one? I just see the one. Yeah. Oh! Oh god! I thought oh, I, f oh, I, f oh. I, f I thought I fell! By the power of ledge snap. Yeah, what's the last one? Well, too bad we don't have mugshots on, um, uh. On blueprints, otherwise we could just use that. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that radar thing only works in Raleigh's. It only works in Raleigh's lair. Oh, so wait, is it? Do you need to get a the same? One, kind yeah, of there's one for each one because there's blueprints for each hideout. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that probably would be a bit overpowered if you could just get that for every world from the start. Of the game. Beat this guy in front. Oh. Okay. <laughs> C combo What the <laughs> Did you see that too? What? His hat went in the background. Oh I'm gonna have to look back at that when I edit this. In like ten months knowing me. Okay, look around here. Is it like No not here, not here. Yes. Over there. <laughs> Nothing over here. Keep moving forward. Try to look out for anything that looks suspicious. Does it look sus to you? Sus. No. I'm pretty sure down there is just death. Yeah, that's no, that's a pit. Yeah, uh, I saw it. Wait, you saw it? Wait, wait. Hello. You... Hello. Your right. Oh, right here. Oh. oh. Oh! Okay. I... I kind of had a suspicion something would be there, but I didn't see it last time. Well, look, good, well, good, thing, good thing it's not that far. Good thing it's just up ahead after these brushers. These doggos don't kill me. Alright, right, let's Go. do this. Let's grab that lucky charm, too, while we're at it. Yep. And I think... And once you unlock the save, we can just teleport back to the hideout, or back to the area. All right, what is this gonna give me? Not good. Not, nothing, nothing that useful. I, 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 unfortunately. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in three, one, ah. four. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, uh, maybe one day I'll get. Maybe one it, day. It would... probably was a run test where we just had something. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 would, yeah. I would have kept one of these correct. Yeah, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. Ron the Cooper's patented explosive hat technique. I see. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then oh. use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. I see. Huh. Bomb hat. But, uh,. Yeah, get to, get down to the ground <laughs> over there. That's in the in theory that sounds cool. Yeah, but watch it. <laughs> okay. What? Now hit the button again. What? 
Wait. Wait, excuse you, me. Uh, do it again, do it again. I did not see any explosion. The heck was that? <laughs> Apparently it does hurt. Try it. You have a lucky charm. Throw, throw one down. Let's see if it works. Oh. Now. It, that range is oh, pitiful. Yeah. Oh my god. That explosion's a little fart. I, I was expecting... No, <laughs> I was ex what I was expecting from that attack was like Slider just like throw his hat like this is Mario Odyssey and it just like st stays there and you press the button and he just does a like a maybe not a big explosion but at least bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a massive letdown. Oh my god! I told you it was lame. Damn! I thought it was gonna be cool. Mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. <laughs> All right, so we there's that there's um I think two uh, one or two gimmick levels in this one. Oh. Good. Wow, oh, homing bullets. No, I do. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that was good. It's <As> animation. <laughs> That, well, the, the roll definitely has momentum because it definitely works on slope. Yeah. Alright, just wait for the dog to turn around and rush him. How long is he gonna. And he goes back. Yeah, did he freeze? I think his animation just kind of stops. I think okay. Let's okay. Yeah, so that's what we need to do in order. To, this is this is how we get in. Ah, uh, yeah. So you said there was like, like two gimmicks. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's directly outside, but I know there's at least two out here. Okay. Or in this world. I think that's one over there. This one. Not this one. Oh. No, not this one. If you want to do it, but there's one over there, like the little trick. Oh wait, this. Yeah, right there. Okay. Keep going. Mm -hmm. okay. Which one is this? Is this Murray's Big Gamble, I think it's called? Oh wow, I got the name right. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Hey, you like driving? Uh, it depends. Well, that's not the. Well, that's not. Well, that's later. <laughs> in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting ah, station. So it's one of those Use these the kinds of levels. Stick to aim and press the square uh, button to fire. Pause it. Uh, before you. Yeah, it'll wait. So the moment you hit square, it'll start the level. But I want to explain a few things before you do it. All right. All right. All right. Look at his the first face. thing you. Need to yeah. Okay. The first thing you need to know is that um, yeah, um, Murray also. I think any lucky charms you have carry over the Murray. Okay. Secondly, um, there are explosive barrels in this level. Those will hurt him, and the, and the range on them are is really big. So don't get trigger happy. Okay. Other than that, it's just protect him to the end, and you can hurt him with your own gun, I believe. Oh, so it's friendly fire. Yeah, so just be ready. All right, as soon as you open it, as soon as you as soon as you hit square, it starts. Time to move, Sly. Yikes. No. At least they seem to die fairly quickly. Yeah, remember, just keep your eyes open because some of these will be explosives. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Bingo. Open. Oh, wait, that hurt him from all the way over there? Are you serious? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. And yeah, Murray's vitality is apparently linked to you, so... 
<laughs> you die, you lose a life. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you clipped for the for the thing on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I know you play play as Mary and Bentley in uh, two. Oh, no. Doesn't fall into that. Um, it's gonna be interesting. I can say that much. Yeah, keep what your eyes that? on Mary. Yeah, like no. when, when it's like that, it's like so close to hitting him by accident. No. There's also the barrels like everywhere. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh. Mary can actually defend himself in the sequel. <laughs> Am I gonna game? Not, only can, not only can he defend himself in the sequel, he's a powerhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go, Sly. It's it's weird oh. seeing him like not be like that. <laughs> Cause that's the that's the Mary. Well, I, I, I'm guessing because I'm guessing because he was more in the field now. He just he wants to get more escape. I guess so. Hell, go through a whole character arc because he's like a bit of a coward here. Bingo! <laughs> Interesting. No. Yeah, because I, again, I, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, reiterate, I barely know anything about this game, so I know that. Okay, there's going to be a guy behind him. Like, no, be, yeah, behind, no, behind the tram, behind the yeah. tram. Yeah. Alright. Your raiders, one up ahead. Dude, I, I'm not trying to hit those! <laughs> this is a reminder, game over just restarts the level, so here it doesn't really matter. Okay, good. Oh, I'm going in. No! No! Uh, if you're wondering, there are two more of these in the game. I see. This is a PS2 era gameplay gimmick. Oh, thanks! This is. <laughs> the closest. I'm at least. Yeah. You know, even though early, I know this is like still early on in Slide Clear, but at least it's a good way of like sort of implementing the other parts of the team. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is a teamwork thing. I think that's what uh, is uh, exciting to me with uh, the sequels is that the other characters are more involved directly. Yeah. No. Keep it up. This is like probably the closest. Okay. Okay, that works. It gave you plenty of room. Yeah, you just had to like aim oh, higher, than, higher than you uh, expect. Wait, wait. Okay. I remember that one. <laughs> that, that is mean. So basically just never hit the barrels. Yeah, watch him. We're almost there. I must hit him by accident, okay. No! Oh my god, you're fast. <laughs> Are we almost there? Getting pretty close. Oh no. Oh. I see you. Goodness gracious, this is stressing me and I'm just watching. <laughs> yeah! Okay. We got it, and we got it. Oh boy, he has to go ban me. Nice. Shoot him! I thought he was gonna eat it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, w yeah, Mur yeah. Murray has quite a few levels for himself, actually. Are they all like stuff like that, or is it like different? Um, one, um there's one more. There's one. Uh, like I said, there's two more turret levels, and then there's also there's also a uh, two or three driving levels. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, with uh, Sly being the only like playable character, this is like the closest you're really gonna get to having Bentley and Murray like actually participate in any way. I think. Well, I think I think Bentley has a thing late game. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna ask like if uh, Bentley actually has levels or he's like the des designated like like Nabby. Help, like helper character. Yeah. He'll have yeah. a few levels, sort of. None of the okay. This one's this one definitely has a bit more stealth to it. But look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. If one sees you, they're gonna be all right, they're mostly gonna be right on you. Oh, like that, run. Yeah, do not let them see you. <laughs> Oh, 
Enemies with Star Truck are definitely some of the more dangerous enemies. Yeah. Because most of our shots are homing. <laughs> Remember, keep your eyes open for the bottles. They could be anywhere. Yeah, I'm trying to look around. <sighs> yeah, we were talking about a, a little bit about this last session, but I like... Yeah, just talking about, uh, like, this era. Um, I just really like how PS2 platformers are, like, so stylized. Like, they just have this specific charm that you don't really get nowadays. Yeah. The, well, that's kind of just like games in, in general now. Like, oh, like, games back then were definitely a lot more experimental. I know we talked about this before. Yeah, yeah. But, like, the, uh, this game specifically just, like, has a specific, like, style that I enjoy. Uh, I, I, just like how, I just like how cartoony he is. Yeah, yeah, it's very expressive. Mm hmm. And the thing, these guys go on to make the infamous games. <laughs> yeah. Um. I oh, yeah, think this is the Sucker Punch, right? Yeah, Sucker Punch yeah. Uh, developed this. What other games did they make? Like, I know they're in infamous. Yeah. Um. I can. I can track you if you want. Yeah. Infamous Ghost of Tsushima Rocket Robot on Wheels for the Nintendo 64. Oh, they they made ro Robot on Wheels, huh? Actually, yes, they did. I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, you're right. They, you're, you're right. They did do Ghost of Tsushima. Well, wait, or did they publish that? Oh, damn oh. it! Oh, what the, oh, what am I thinking? Oh no, I'm thinking Sekiro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, let me see what I'll fucking have in here. Just three. Well, game's developed. Yeah, Rocket Rollin' on Wheels was their first game. Done. And right, really... after that was, and right after that was Sly Cooper. I have seen... Yeah, they don't have a lot of games on here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm, I've... Uh, I've seen Robot on Wheels of, uh, like before, but I don't know that much about that game. I, all I saw was the was the uh, Nitro Rad video. Oh, I didn't realize you reviewed that game. Good. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah in order. Uh, 1999 R Rocket Robot and Wheels. 2002 Sly Cooper and the Thieves of Sakunas. 2004 um, Sly 2 Band of Thieves. 2005 Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Um, 2009 Infamous. Uh, 2011 Infamous 2 and Infamous Festival of Blood. Uh, 2014, Infamous Second Son, Infamous First Light, and, uh, 2020, Ghost of Tsushima, and 21 was Ghost of Tsushima Legend. Mm. Oh yeah, cause Slide 4 was Sanzaru, if I recall yeah, correctly. Yeah, Slide 4 was Sanzaru, I know that much. The, uh, guys that made the, the 3DS Sonic Boom games of all things. <laughs> I also know, I think Sanzaru also were the ones who made the Fly Collection that we're playing right now. That would make sense. Um... I know they've also, they, they, I think they also helped with the, with the, uh, Reignited trilogy. Yeah, I, I think I remember them getting a credit. Yeah, because I know, like, they, um, you could kind of tell that that game was, uh, rushed in some areas because, um, like, Spyro 3 specifically has a lot of weird bugs. I don't know if they're fixed now, but, like, you can tell that I... those, there was, like, some, Lack of polish in some areas. It was so. It was to be faithful to the rush nature of the original Year of the Dragon. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but like, it's a noticeable, like, it, it's very noticeable sometimes. Uh, like, there's a. Um... Oh, by the way, uh, by the hit the most got legs. <laughs> Wait, Lee, wait. You know, you no, can get right. Oh! But the coin. Cool. Um... I hope we got everything so far, because I was so focused on the wiki, wiki page. <laughs> yeah, uh... Man, Gambit really lost his, lost his credit, didn't he? <laughs> uh... Yeah, what was yeah. I saying? Uh... You're the dragon, we... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's just sees, like... There's, um, like, what is it? The, one of the NPCs in one of the ice levels, 
Um, it like spins ridiculously fast on the cannon, and that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> like it's just it's just random quirks like that that um, just kind of show that the game needed a bit more time. It's not. I mean, yeah. to be fair about to be fair about NPC on the cannon, it don't ultimately matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of it is like minor things. But it does... I mean, the worst, the worst, the worst bugs I've had was um, sparks not picking up stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's like more of a, a thing that like can be an issue. Watch your timing on these ones. Oh right. Um. Yeah, like I. In general, I think uh, Reignited is the better version of the Spyro Trilogy, but it does come with a few caveats. Mm -hmm. There wasn't anything up there, was there? I didn't see anything. That's right, kid. Poker chips are made of gold. <laughs> <laughs> They're hiding gold under it. Why is Mugshot's casino flooded? He don't care. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Just go, just go. Get him, get him, get him. Luckily, luckily they're idle and they take forever. Also, you can't linger on these because there's more blazers. Yeah. It's the... He's in the... Mario school of level design. Like, introduce a gimmick and slowly... Um... Amp it up as you go through the level. <laughs> oh, I really hope we're. Oh, now it's slow. Yes. Have you, have you guys seen those kinds of videos, like just kind of analyzing level design? Um, not particularly. I think the last time I saw was like was Silco Hawk. I think his name was. Silco. So well, I mean, he did the new Super Mario Bros. games. Oh, please tell me there's one more thing above there. I hope so. Let's see. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? That'd be something better than the last one. Oh no, they, they're a lot better than that one. Troy, you found my love note from middle school! Uh, not even close. <laughs> Does that apply to Harry trying to put in the code of my Bentley impersonation? Harry. Oh. <laughs> The answer should have been yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> Best friend Cooper. Perfect for those long stakeouts. Just hold down the triangle button to So this is similar to the slowdown power, except you can use it anywhere and it speeds up everything. Oh. The way the shadows are on Sly's sweater makes it seem like he's sweating. Yes, yeah, speed! It's, yeah, it speeds up everything. I, oh my god, that lightning is really obnoxious. Okay, I'm not. Uh, this, seizures. That, that's how that's how speedrunners see games. <laughs> so just jump on these a few times. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Okay. One more. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I missed. Now it's not okay. Hey. We're at the key and we're out. We're clipping for the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the coolest item get animation. It's only one of them, yeah. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Like the PS2 era had a lot of like fancy, like item collection animations. Like, Jack and Daxter is the main uh, thing I can think of. Oh no, I, never mind. I love the gag in Jack 2. Yeah. Where it's like they try to do their traditional get the thing thing, but then the environment just says no. <laughs> <laughs> is this the level? Wait, where am I going? Oh, uh, keep following the path. Oh. I think this, yeah, I think this is the Bentley, uh, the Burry driving level. Oh! And for what I've seen from reviews, this is not going to be pretty. All right. Let's <laughs> see. Yeah. Well, when I said it depends earlier, uh, it <laughs> it's uh, down to controls usually. 
Let's see how this goes. Is there a human face in the hot dog costume? That looks like it. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah. Three times around the track for a key. It's all you Lord, your head's so big. With the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them. I'm on it. All right. Uh, wait, how do I move? Analog stick, analog stick. Oh, okay. And I... we are off to the races. Yeah, let, let's start just restart. I... Oh, that was quick. Oh. Yeah, we took such long load time for this stuff. Yeah, I'm not used to having to just use the stick to move. It's interesting. Just know that um, the enemies can also run into the nitros. I see. Wait, is that a shortcut? Oh. Do, wait, no. do, do shortcuts exist? I don't think so. My gosh, that thing looks like it controls like a shopping cart. <laughs> it, it looks like a shopping cart. A little bit. Hey, we're going... Look how, it, look how small... It, seriously, look how small the Cooper van is. Yeah. It's, uh... It, it, we're doing... It's a callback to our Spyro 3 LP, because I think you said <laughs> Agent 9 <laughs> feels like you're tr controlling a shopping cart. I think I remember that, actually. <laughs> That's just my stock. That's just my stock comment for any clunky vehicle, or I guess in the case of Spiral Three, Agent Nine himself. Yeah. Oh uh, no. I, I, this Agent seems... Nine, the shopping cart. <laughs> this see, uh, this controls fine. Uh, I don't really have much of an issue with that. Maybe it's like a little. I don't know. I I just remember. I don't, I do remember not that not liking these too much. By the way, you're on the last lap. Oh. I can't, like, do anything else. Very odd. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, yeah, that's a kill you. Yeah, second place is a mariachi. <laughs> I, uh, am I gonna lose? You got a little bit of track, but... dun 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 dun, -dun. Almost there. Ah. Uh, nah. Spin the last turns up ahead. No, you jerk! Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's the last turn. Damn it. There's dialogue. There's dialogue. Man, those crummy dogs are pumping me right and left. We'll get back in there and bang them back. We need that key. Well. <laughs> You're sort of popping back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, at least now you got used to the control. You should we we should we should probably get it on this try. Hopefully. Especially if they mess up like that. The guy who's in first is in last. Yeah. I don't know why it's funny how there's a police car in last place <laughs> or in the back. You know, I'm just failing. Oh my no! Restart. <laughs> It really is on Orbitox having just tilt, tilt the analog pick to drive. Yeah. I can't really think of any other game that does that. I don't actually no. I don't. I. T I don't remember if the Halo games work like that. I, I'd have to like go in a vehicle again. Cause I, mm. I don't usually use the vehicles in Halo. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna mention this earlier, but the um, the other Murray level kind of reminded me of an Agent Agent Nine level a little bit. Which one? Uh, well, just kind of in general, but I guess specifically like the uh, the um, on rails one, I guess. I can see it. When I think of you know what's funny when I think of Agent Nine, um, besides the besides the actual level and um, uh, besides the levels in Crash, it Crash Inspire <laughs> Three. Uh, you know what I think about? What? Um, what have you ever played Attack of the Rhinox? I have never no. played any of the GBA ones. Uh, in that one, Agent Nine plays a stealth mode. Uh -huh. thing. That doesn't sound. I mean, that's interesting. They're not terrible, but I'll, I'll... That doesn't sound very in character, though. 
I think it's I think because he has to re rescue his fellow agents. I see. You know, g considering how good the Agent Nine was in the in Reignited Spyro Three, I kind of want to. I, I wouldn't be opposed to him just getting his like full own game. And we're done. Yeah, it's called Ratchet and Clank. Huh. Funny. I mean, I. <laughs> you, you're not wrong, but at the same time, like. Still. I think Sonic did very briefly consider giving him his own game. He was going all right, to get Alright, I think that's all the gimmick levels in this world. It was going to, I think it was going to be redesigned to be more realistic. I believe that. Alright, we can, I think we can enter the, the, the place now. Hey. So this is like area two. Hit the, hit, hit the, hit the switch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, and now we have a gold lucky shot, now I can take two of Yay. What does one lone okay not one lone guard, but Yeah, Mark security is kind of sparse. Okay, drive I... up to the yeah. drive up to it walk okay, let's see. So walk up to the mug shot head. <laughs> oh. Would you look at that ugly mug? I am! And I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My X-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But you need all seven keys to open it up. I'm on. The three more levels. So do all the worlds in the game have like uh, two specific like sections, if you will? Yeah. Okay. Did Raleigh's have that? Yeah. 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 yeah the second one. Was, yeah, because yeah, like I second, remember. I have remember the uh, electric. Like, oh, oh, this level. The electric fence that I just walked into because I thought it was a warp. Oh uh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember this level. I, I like this one. <laughs>